Another weekend down, another week to begin. Welcome everybody, this is the weekly startup. We have some good sales here this weekend. We also picked up a few things this weekend. Not too much, we kind of went light on the thrifting again because I have homework now. School semester is starting. I'm like, whoa, I'm still adjusting. We're in the adjusting phase, so I don't really have that much here today, but I do want to show you what I got and the whole shebang that we normally do here. So let's just go really right into what we got and what's sold. First off here, we have Mike Mulligan and his steam shovel. We actually showed this off in a video already a few weeks ago. I think two weeks ago now. We've been doing YouTube this long. Ooh, whoa. But <laughs> I can't even remember videos. But yeah, we only got this pretty recently. So this is less than a, probably a month of having this. And this is already sold for full price, $19.90 plus $4 shipping. This one, obviously, it's kind of unique. It has the red. It looks very old. Has some damage I noted to it. Has no scannable on the back, so these are your telltale signs. Especially colored books like this, it's kind of rare to get them. Normally they're pretty faded or they don't really stand out. They kind of like, yeah. But even those can go for quite a bit. But something that catches your eye like this, definitely take a look at it. This one's interesting. I got this at the end of last year. This is you know, well, weird. I normally don't do pop up books because normally they're pretty damaged. I've never really found one that isn't damaged. This one's damaged too. It has some weird ones that don't really pop out that much. But most of them are actually pretty good. Like I can show you right here. You always want to test these out and make sure that they are working. Ooh. He be moving though. He be moving. He be moving pretty good as well. So I put this out there for $9.90. Just kind of was like, oh, I'll pick this up. It wasn't that much. It was in the kin section. So I think like $0.10 cents or something. So it's sold here for $10. I put C description in the title. Because of the fact that it had some damage, I, I showed some specific pictures of... I actually showed every single one, but I showed the ones that didn't work as well and the flaws to them. But yeah, guys, if you ever have like a damage item like this, put C description in the title and make sure you are properly displaying what's wrong. There's probably like a 90% chance this person's like, hey, this book doesn't work and wants a refund. But you just got to do what you got to do mitigate that stuff. Another weird one that I just picked up for $10. I actually never thought this was going to sell either, but we got the classic, classic malts of Scotland. Scotland Yard here. But we have this. This is a little mini book. It sold for $10 again. This again, I picked it up. I don't know, maybe 50 cents a dollar. I don't know. Dollar into 10, 50 cents into 10. I got this a while ago, so I didn't really think it was ever going to leave my storage, but it did. I did. Like I said, sometimes you get the mystery books and you'll get a little bit. you get a little bit of reward. You won't get much, but, you know, the mystery books, you never know. You're flipping a coin with those. On to a video game, we have Wallace and Gromit and the Curse of the Way of Rabbit. 1333, a PlayStation 2 game. Always keep an eye out for games, guys. They're definitely uh, normally worth it. See here, no, no manual on this one. You always want to make sure you're looking for a manual. And sometimes I've had the occasional, you know, I have a memory card up here. If you have a memory card up here, even if the game itself is bad, get it for the memory card. Because the memory cards themselves are really good. Because old consoles weren't able to store their own data, so you had to have these external chips. Which are definitely super valuable today. It's a book that actually had not sold at all from what I've seen. But it was out there for like 30 to $40, so I came in there... I think I went in at like twenty eight eighty eight. Someone offered twenty dollars. Like I said, past ninety days had never sold, so I'm the only guy who's selling it. Once again, the undercut strategy. It's not yo, you're not getting premium price. Yes, yes, but you are getting something. That's why I like about the undercut. That's why I like about best offers. Someone wants to offer you something. Now you know how much a customer really values this book at. This one at the end of last week, but in case you weren't aware or didn't see that video, I have the butterfly effect here that sold for $5 plus $4 shipping just about. That's one of those ones where I picked it up for a dollar, I believe, and now it's turned into five. It was in a video I was mentioning uh, $5 flips, are they worth it? Uh, it's a good topic. It's I'll go into it briefly here. A lot of times when you're at thrift store, you're not going to see a lot of huge ones, but you'll see a lot of small stuff. Or maybe you'll go to a corner and I'll be like, these CDs are for 25 cents. Or take 10 VHSs for a dollar. These small little wins or these little deals, they like these $5 or $3, always make sure it's plus shipping because if you add shipping, then it's really not going to eat into your, your total sales. So always make, it, always make sure or make an effort to charge shipping for those, for those low low total sales. Yes, I believe if you pick up enough of them, you will get a few sales here and there, and you'll get those $10, those $5 plus shipping. 
and they'll add up. And like I said, it's like a snowball. Five dollars here, ten dollars there, five dollars there, three dollars plus shipping there. Boom! You already have a pretty sizable amount. You have one Mr. Mike's and his steam machine, you know what I mean? Although I yammer all I want about these small sales and how they snowball, what we really want to see is the big hitters like this one. This one I spent a dollar, and now we have sixty dollars plus about four dollars shipping on it. This one I showed off also at the end of last week's video, but if you didn't see it, it's Olive Board for Wonderland. This one is actually pretty interesting. It has some cool, unique artwork inside of it. Pull it up for you here, right there. The customer wanted to know if they had all four pages of that. Asked them what pages. They gave me the pages. I checked. All the pages were there, so he was a satisfied customer. Paid $59.90. As I mentioned, I didn't get much this past weekend, but we did get actually some pretty good stuff. So starting off here, we have these books here by Christina Fion. So this one, it was in a bag sale, so all this was a fraction of, I don't know, dollars. <laughs> Parents and I actually shared a bag, so like the amount that I spent on this really is not that much. So always do bag sales, guys. If you ever find a bag sale or see an announcement for a bag sale, go for them. The amount of stuff you can get, it's just insane. You don't eat. <laughs> you don't know till you do it. About five books here, two of which are hardcover. So we have this listing here, which was like the closest I could get. There's some that are going for like mid twenties. And I really could not get an accurate total or estimation of what this would be. So I'm going to say it's about $20 plus shipping. I'm going to put those out there for $19.90 plus shipping. So they always look for author lots. Whenever you're out there, it's like, oh, shoot, what can I get? Look for like authors and a bookshelf or even look throughout the store if there's multiple bookshelves and pull them together. And all of a sudden you have a nice little lot like that. They'll go for about $20 decent DVD. I normally don't do unsealed DVDs, but this one was going all right. So this one here, there's one listing for $4, plus basically $4 shipping, or one for $7.99. There's one down there for $8.99. So this is looking about, I'll probably do a, a $4.90 plus shipping on this, so this is another good $5 flip. Again, fractions of a dollar, that's pretty good. Can't complain about that at all. Samson and Delilah, I'm sure we all grew up watching these guys on the telly. Uh, I really don't know what this is, but what I do know about it is that it was brand new and sealed. So guys, I always say it, if it's sealed, it's a deal, alright? This is good. It looks like we'll get around $6.50 plus $3 shipping, so around that, that $5, $6 plus shipping mark. Like I was saying, that's the money, that's the good, it's a good sweet spot for the small items. An item on a very similar story, we have another, like $7 plus shipping item. This one is the World of Reading, level 1. A Star Wars book, this is like, it has actually a book lie, there's six of them inside. It's a cool little box, Velcro, shuts, opens, stores all the books right in here. This one kind of just stood out to me because I could tell that it was like a book bundle, and normally box sets of books, I always pick those up for the right price. Yeah, so $6.99 plus $4 shipping roughly, so I'll probably do $6.90 plus the same amount of shipping. Last but not least, we like ending on good ones. We have Creature Comforts America, and we have here for around $20, it seems, this one's going for, so <laughs> that's pretty awesome. This is, again, another sealed DVD. It's sealed, it's a deal. We pick up all the sealed ones always, and these are always just good. This one's exceptional because it's around $20. Normally, it's not in that $20 range. Normally, it's that 10 to 15 but every so often, you get a sealed DVD, it'll be 20 Always get sealed if you see it sealed. You know, scan your hands over. If you feel that plastic, go for it. Grab it. And you almost don't even need to scan it most times because even at worst case scenarios, you're going to get the, the six, five, six dollar items. That brings me to the closing of this video. I hope you all had an amazing weekend. Hope you had some good sales. Maybe you had some better finds than me. Maybe you went out there and really dug and you found some good stuff. And I hope you did. Keep growing your store. Keep at it. Keep the faith. <laughs> Keep the effort. Keep your work ethic. Grow it, expand upon it, make it greater, and you will find the success you've been looking for. This has been Mantup Cells. Another week. I'll see you Friday. Soldier salute and peace.